So as a best-selling author myself, I always get the question, Alex, what are some of your favorite books? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top five books that are gonna help you with your entrepreneurial journey. So this video is my personal opinion on what's helped me personally and also professionally in my businesses, but also what I think is going to help you on your business journey as well. So without any particular kind of order of these, in fact there is an order, I'm going to say there is an order, um, I'm going to start off with The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster. So The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster is written by Darren Hardy. Darren is also the um, founder of Success Magazine and success.com, um, which is a great resource for, for learning about entrepreneurship and business. Um, and also he wrote another book called The Compound Effect. Uh, again, a phenomenal book, but more so about um, your mindset, I think. But The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster is about entrepreneurship, about business, the ups and the downs of being an entrepreneur, the personal transition you're gonna make as an entrepreneur. And also what I love about this book is that it makes a lot of emphasis on selling. So Darren says that you're not an entrepreneur until you start selling. And to be honest, I've got to agree. You know, entrepreneurs um, have to sell their product or service, um, ultimately solving people's problems. So it's a great book for those already in business, but for also those who are thinking about starting their own business as an entrepreneur. Fantastic. So this next book to me is a bit sentimental. Um, it was the first book I ever bought and the first book I ever read. Um, and it helped me get out of depression, um, helped me think positive and have a different outlook on life. And also wanted, um, gave me that kind of hunger for success. Uh, so complete game changer for me, highly recommended. And this book is called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So, it was written in the 1930s and Napoleon Hill was under a guy called Andrew Carnegie. And Andrew Carnegie was in the steel industry and was one of the richest men in the world around, um, around the Great Depression era. And basically through that connection, Napoleon Hill was able to interview 500 of the most successful people of that era. And what he found was that these successful people think very differently to unsuccessful people. Um, they have different characteristics, they have um, a different thought process, they have a different outlooks, and basically he's condensed this into a book, which is just a complete game changer. Um, highly recommend it to change your thinking. Um, it will obviously help you in your entrepreneurial journey as well. Um, and the principles are like timeless. They carry on for, you know, we're in 2000s now, they've been uh, timeless. I'm sure they'll be timeless for many years to come. So number four, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So this next book pulls no punches when it comes to having a job and being a wage slave and also transitioning into business. Now the title suggests that it is a cheesy book on how to become a millionaire, but it could be further from the truth. This book is called The Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. So MJ DeMarco is a successful um, entrepreneur in his own right. He first got inspired by um, seeing a Lamborghini as a young as a young child, um, and from that moment, it kind of shaped his life and, and wanting more out of his life. Um, what I love about this book, um, it has three lanes he talks about. So um, uh, there's three lanes to life. You have the sidewalk, which is typically people who have nine to five jobs um, and they take forever to get to the life they want, the freedom after retirement. Then you have um, the um, slow lane, which typically is the middle class, people who uh, take quite a while to get to the freedom they want. They think very different to um, people who are in the next lane called the fast laners. Now these fast laners um, are called fast laners because they gain wealth and freedom and uh, a financial status that gives them the fruits and joy of life um, and choice um, much quicker than um, people in this sidewalk and also on the slow lane. Um, what I love about it as well is that it's so simple to read and understand the principles that MJ DeMarco explains. Um, it's a highly recommended book. Like I said, it's a fun book. And also this book is on um, Audible as well that I've uh, listened to. A phenomenal read. Again, a really fun uh, book to li uh, listen to just as much. Um, so yeah, MJ DeMarco, uh, The Millionaire Fast Lane. Phenomenal, phenomenal book on business, your mindset and also entrepreneurship.
So this next book pulls no punches either. And in fact, it will probably give you a few elbows and a few knees as well. This book is also a simple read. It's easy to digest. And also it's by the same author as the Millionaire Fastlane. This book is called Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. Now this is MJ DeMarco's second book. It's a much thicker read, but again, uh, simple to understand. Um, it's on Audible as well, which again is a great listen. And this book really, um, really, really goes deep on how we've been indoctrinated into thinking in a script, a way of thinking like a robot. Um, this is how you should do something. Um, and this completely breaks uh, the kind of mold of thinking like that and ultimately making sure that you're um, thinking like a successful entrepreneur. Um, the title is Life, Liberty and the Pursuit of Entrepreneurship. Um, it speaks volumes about um, how you should think about life um, and how you can gain freedom through entrepreneurship. Um, it also kind of challenges again the status quo that maybe your mum and dad may have taught you and also that life's not about just paying the bills and living for the weekend and you know slaving away Monday to Friday just have two days off or slaving away for 50 years of your life um, just to have you know seven years in retirement until you peacefully pass away um, so so yeah I mean I've just opened up the book right now and you know chapter 14 fuck this before fuck you is is the uh, is the chapter so fantastic read highly recommend it really fun um, and it will change your thinking massively when it comes to your own life and actually it might actually make you feel pretty bad that you're living uh, a life um, that he's suggesting in this book and just a fun fact on this book i actually got inspiration for the front cover of my book so my book is called police officers to entrepreneur we help ex and serving police officers in building successful businesses it became an amazon number one bestseller um, and I really wanted to kind of capture um, the differences and, and make an entrepreneur stand out and free and free spirited and, you know, making sure they're stretching towards a goal. And I got actually inspiration from the front cover of this book. Can you see kind of the similarities? Um, you know, kind of people um, are all one way of thinking, one kind of uh, being. And there's one guy who jumps out and is completely different. And that's what I wanted for my book as well the police officer to entrepreneur. So, so yeah, bit of a fun fact. So this last book is probably one of my favorite books and I read a lot. Um, now this book was a real game changer for me um, in five key areas of my life, my business, my finances, my health, uh, my relationships, and also my personal development. And this book is called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. So this book um, is an easy to read book. I think it's quite quick. I think I read it in about two days. I couldn't put it down, very addictive. And, um, and, and yeah, very, very simple to read. Um, with this book, um, it had such a profound, profound effects on the way I thought that I actually had coasters all around my house. Um, and this diagram is from the book. And basically it's just a reminder to tell me that I'm either succeeding in life or failing. And what the book teaches you is that every decision you make in life matters, okay? Um, in business and your personal life. And these decisions have a ripple effect over the years to a certain outcome, which is either failure or success. And an example that the book uses is that if you was to eat a burger today, you know, your life's you know not gonna change, right? You're gonna eat one burger. If you eat a burger for a week, again, nothing's probably gonna change, you're gonna be completely fine. But if you ate a burger every single day for a year, well, that decision, even though it felt like it was insignificant and it didn't matter, has now had a ripple effect, which of course is gonna be negative. You're probably gonna have ulcers in your mouth, your sex drive's gone, you know, you're lethargic, you're overweight, you're low self-esteem, which are all negative things. And these decisions drip into each area of our life, whether that one was health, but it could be business. You know, if you're picking up the phone to prospects every single day, that in itself is gonna have a positive outcome. But if you're not picking up the phone and you're not doing the work in your business, well, the outcome of that is that you're going to remain a failure or your business is going to fail if you are in business currently. Um, again, in relationships, you know, if you're not, you know, caring for your other person or your, you know, your business associates, well, again, that could either give you a negative outcome or if you do start caring for them, it's going to give you a positive outcome in life. So for me, it was a real game changer. I highly recommend it. 
Um, I've read it a number of times as well. It's called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. So that's it, guys. That's my top five books that I believe is going to help you on your entrepreneurial journey and also shift your mindset to think like a successful individual and successful entrepreneur. But I'd also love to know what your favorite book is and what's made the biggest impact on you on a personal level or maybe on your business by dropping a comment below. And if you're an actual serving police officer and you're looking to go into business or scale your existing business, then do check out our business accelerators by clicking the link around this video. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next one.